three questions about EBITDA and uh, question number one which you need to tell is why EBITDA is also known as cash operating profit. EBITDA ko cash operating profit bhi kyu kehte hain. Question number two, uh, what is the relationship between EBITDA of a business and the borrowing capacity of that business? And I can tell you there's a very, very strong relationship between the EBITDA and the borrowing capacity of a business. Most people think debt equity ratio is the prime indicator. Uh, that is fine. But more than debt equity ratio, what is important is, is the relationship between the EBITDA and the borrowing capacity. So the EBITDA would define as to how much borrowing a business can do. That is the question number two that you need to answer. Question number three, there is a very strong relationship between the EBITDA and valuation of a business. EBITDA and valuation of a business. So what that relationship is, so that is also uh, the third question. And let me add one more question. Uh, when I was in Arslor Mittal, uh, we would receive uh, every quarter a communication, a mail from Mr. Mittal. And Mr. Mittal in all those mails will invariably highlight three things. And what those three things were, those three things were number one, health and safety. And that was the importance that was given to health and safety in our group. The number two, he would talk about EBITDA, EBITDA, EBITDA. And number three, he would talk about the deleveraging, reducing the debt. So the fourth question uh, to all of you is, what is so significant about EBITDA that a group like Arslor Mittal also will highlight in uh, its communications to the top management, senior management all over the globe? So these four questions, and let me give you a time of two minutes so you can think about these four questions for two minutes, and then you can start responding. And remember, please be as brief as you can so that we are able to give chance to as many participants as possible. Over to all of you.